decida, eh, mirá a quién encontré, superó los tres episodios, llegó al cuarto y es momento de festejarlo con un especial, ¿sí? Como era un tema tan importante, podíamos utilizar más de un material para abarcarlo. Estamos hablando de una serie que tiene más de 25 años de vida y tiene fanáticos que el año pasado se volvieron locos cuando reestrenó. Prometió en su momento el creador, o en realidad lo deslizó, que podíamos llegar a ver alguna temporada nueva. Hubo que esperar más de 25 años. Llegó el año pasado, estamos hablando de un clásico de los 90, refritado y reconvertido, reconstruido, todo re... Fíjate, mirá a quién encontré. How did you start working on Twin Peaks and with David Lynch? I started as a fan and I called up after the first season and said I wanted to work on it and so I got to work on the second season. Um, I saw the first season and I called the production office of the show. So. And um, that, uh, I was very lucky. I happened to call and, and the producer at the time, Greg Feinberg, picked up the phone and he said, we're just starting the second season. Would you like to come down tomorrow for an interview, like the next day? Whoa. And I said, yeah, that would be great. And I went down and, and I was working as a production coordinator and they really needed a production coordinator. And he said, uh, he talked with me, he said, okay, you can start, you know, tomorrow. So, but... so I started right away. It was an honor and a pleasure it was to be part of Twin Peaks. And uh, I have noticed that the, the, the newer fans of Twin Peaks, uh, the ones that were not old enough to see the first Twin Peaks, um, that they... Uh, have a much deeper seem, seem to have a much deeper interest into it, like what it means, what what it uh, uh, what it symbolizes, whatever. And what do you think of the last season? It means a lot to me, and um, I think the show it turned out exactly what David wanted, and and that's really important for me as a producer because that was my job was to make him happy. Everybody put their heart and soul into it. It wasn't just a normal kind of job. Everybody was really involved with it, and, and that made me very happy. And I'm very proud of all the work that everybody did. Um, I thought that uh, it had some incredible moments that uh, nobody has ever seen on TV, as far as I know. The very, the, the very last moment, I thought, was... Uh, That was a good way to end it. I didn't particularly like the last episodes, uh, um, with his endless driving on the in a, on a dark road and so. But <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought the, the final moment where we realized that uh, we still don't have no idea where we are, what time frame we are. Um, I thought that was a good way to end it. Yeah. And I'm a David Lynch fan, so uh, yeah, it was great. I have to ask you this: Is there a new season coming? Uh, well, there's there is nothing at this point. Um, we really are still just getting over the the last season. It was 18 hours, yeah. and we had to do it in a very condensed period of time. Everybody else just need a break. So there's really not been any talk about it. I know that. Everybody says, David says, Mark says, Showtime says that everybody's open to it, but there, there have not been any direct talks about it. Nobody knows. I don't even know if, if David Lynch knows himself. <laughs> uh, a, a lot of it uh, probably depends on if, um, if he's going to find uh, a willing venue. So in this case, it was Showtime who uh, financed uh, most of it, I guess. Yeah, and um, uh, we'll have to see if they want more, um, because it's really, as he himself says, it's really hard to to be a filmmaker these days because uh, the constraints are so big. 
definitely you'd have to wait a few years more anyway because just in order for us to get Twin Peaks on the air it took over five years yeah. I think from when Mark and David started how do you do to work with David Bowie since after he was there we were unaware of him being ill um, when we first contacted him and David has a relationship with him, so it was reaching out to him to find out if he'd be interested in being in the show. Yeah. And um, he, you know, just basically, it, word came back that he was not interested in it. And we, you know, this is over a period of a, of a year or so that we initially went out to actors and then by the time we got to pre-production we were going to shoot so there was a long time kind of in between and we went back to him and said okay well if you don't want to be in it can we use your footage and um, he agreed to that as long as we changed his voice <laughs> for the character and use an actual you know an authentic Louisiana actor for that Um, and so that's what we did, and um, that was agreed to prior before his passing. And then once that happened, we realized, well, that's the reason why I'm assuming he was not interested in coming and working with us. But I have no, you know, there was no, it was never specifically said why he wanted another actor to use his voice, maybe or to do his voice. Maybe he didn't, didn't like his performance. I don't know. Maybe he wanted to have somebody um, else do it to be able to do other things so that we could have other, other scenes that he wasn't able to be in. And so we'd have somebody who would be able to do the voice and continue throughout. I don't know, honestly. Listen up, listen carefully. I've been to one of their meetings was above a convenience store. Scott Cameron is the first AD, and Scott Cameron and myself, every Sunday we met with David, just the three of us alone. And if you see the behind the scenes, Jason was there some of the time, and he would videotape us. So, <laughs> you know, there was four of us. But it was really me, Scott, and David on Sundays, and we'd talk about the coming up week. And Scott and I were always giving David suggestions of, oh, you should put this person in the show, a lot of crew people. And David loved putting crew people in the show. He would see people and say, oh, you know what, I want to have Willie sweep the floor, you know, in this. so get, get Willie here and he's going to get a broom and have him do that. So he would pick people. He liked the look of them or whatever. And um, at one point, Scott said, well, Sabrina should be the casino floor attendant. And David said, okay, you want to do the casino? And I said, yeah, I'll do the casino. <laughs> and then at the same time, I told him, I said, well, Scott Cameron should be the man who throws the bottle. And he's like, okay. So Scott got to do that, and I got to do the casino. When David directs, he he has a vision of what he wants. So uh, the written word may say one thing, but David actually describes what he wants you to do. So there's a lot more than just what's written. How important was your height in your acting life? Uh, I never set out to be an actor, so I wanted to do things in film, and um, and I have a, I, I worked on a few uh, movies uh, either in production or special effects or editing, and um, uh, but while I was living in Hollywood, people kept asking me in, in to be uh, in their movie. Uh, yeah, usually it was because I was tall, um, and it, it never bothered me that much because I never wanted to be an actor. Uh, I mean, it was never a, a burning ambition, uh, but I started to enjoy it more and more while I was doing it, and it hasn't bothered me that much that I'm being typecast. Uh, I would have liked to do some more like uh, com comedy roles, yeah. um, but uh, who knows, maybe that happens in the future. Hasta ahí las charlas con Karel Stryken y Sabrina Sutherland que contaron prácticamente todos los detalles de lo que fue la temporada nueva, la última que vimos el año pasado de Twin Peaks. Espero que les haya gustado, los quiero leer en los comentarios. 
compartan, difundan como siempre les digo, hay que hacer llegar este material a todos los rincones del mundo, nosotros nos vemos en el quinto episodio de la semana que viene. Well, I definitely do think that television is changing. I think less people want to turn on a TV at 8 o'clock to watch a show. They would rather watch a show when they want to watch a show. I think that's one of the reasons why we did want to have Twin Peaks spaced out, was it gives you time to digest it. You can watch the show a couple of times. You can think about it, and it's not just an immediate you know, okay, we saw that, let me see the next one. So you really have to think about it for a week before you see the next one.